Hello everybody, how is it going? It is Solaris time again and uh, today we are playing the King Crab. I'm a big fan of Division 3 because there is a lot of brawling going on so we have a lot of heavy mechs who really like to get intimate and, and fight with auto cannons and missiles. Um, but at the same time we, completely, we can completely counter this by using for example this build here, a King Crab that is set up for mid-range ballistic fights. So we're gonna soften up the brawlers uh, before they can actually get to their nominal fighting distance and then they die. So that's the plan here and um, to give you to give you some context here uh, the games are mostly or like let's say to to 30 percent decided in a picking phase so guys pick a map according to your build this is so important or ban all of the other maps that really really uh, are not catering towards your playstyle here so example for example if you like um, close range fighting go for the caves go for the factory Colosseum to some extent, but um, if you like mid-range fighting, go for the Colosseum, go for the jungle, or for the boreal, the, the white one. So therefore, uh, you will see a lot of these these uh, maps here. The build is set up with uh, two AC tens and uh, four AC twos. So we've got a lot of ducker. We've got some some solid DPS here. Well, we only have an alpha strike of 28, but still the weapons fire fast. They fire at about 500 meters here for our AC tens, and um, that's it. We are running a light engine, of course and uh, we have two double heatsinks since the build tends to get a little bit toasty when you have constant fire on the enemy therefore a little bit of heat management is, is really really nice to have here uh, ammo as you can see is pretty limited two and a half tons for the ac10 and uh, two and a half tons for the four ac2s and that should be enough to bring down your opponent if you are not getting there then you're doing something wrong anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the skill build before we get on the, uh, or get in the arena here as you might tell we are going for cooldown and heat gen here Cool on each end, and of course magazine capacity to get ourselves a little bit more sustain here. And then this is a no-brainer: maximum survivability because we do not want to get overpowered by the enemy. We want to sustain and we want to last uh, outlast the enemy by having more HP than them. Um, apart from it, operations here, I'm going for double heat containment and maximum cool run, as I said before. Auto cannons, if you fire them fast and often, you will get some heat and therefore this is nice to have. And also I'm going for rated deprivation here because sometimes I need to reposition and I do not want to uh, give my enemy too much information where I'm going. I want to break locks fast and uh, therefore this. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the five games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. There are definitely some more Solaris videos coming out. Battletech and Mac Warrior Online Quick Play, of course. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing on the snow map. Oh my god. And we are playing against the Pinpoint Banshee. That's an AC20 and two Snubnose PPCs. So I do not want to be in his face whatsoever. Instead, I wanna I wanna take some some high ground somewhere and uh, I wanna open him up before he actually uh, arrives at my position. So we're gonna take this little hill here and hopefully, hopefully, we can mess around with uh, his armor a little bit. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for this. I wonder I wanna I wonder if he's uh, running stand-up engine or life fusion. So I'm gonna get rid of the AC20. Yeah, uh, he he needs to he needs to do the walk of shame here. That is uh, devastating here. AC20 down, come on, that's what I need. All right, so two snap nose PPCs are actually not that scary anymore. So we can just we can just cool down do this and we are fine <laughs> hey dude sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry like he had no cover whatsoever um and the build is again super scary that he has there but um i didn't let him to to get to the close range here again the picking stage is so important if you get um an open map with this build here you are so much ahead in terms of um you know in, in favor for winning anyway first run over let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down all right, here we go. We are playing the Steiner Colosseum, and I actually have a lot of respect from my enemy. Uh, he's doing something like that, uh, something like I'm doing here. He has a very high standing here, and uh, I wonder who is gonna be the better King Crab here. This is gonna be tough and interesting at the same time. Now, what we want to do is, of course, we want to get high ground, and depending on his build, I might be the one pushing because I am running uh, AC tens, and if he's running double fives and a ten. Uh, and, 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 and twos, like no, quad, quad fives and double twos. Um, he has a range advantage, so we gotta see. There he is. Got the first shot out. So that was that was nice, actually. I wonder what he is going for there. We are going for center mass, by the way. So this is the, the thing. We're gonna 
try to shoot his center torso into pieces. Where did he go? Is he trying to actively dodge me? Okay. I've got some solid damage out. Rocket launchers, AC2s completely. Okay. Damn it, that was not a good shot from my from my AC10 there. Make sure you land the AC10s to the point. Is there a rocket launcher coming in now? Okay, he's scared. It's good. Alright, he didn't get into rocket launcher range and uh, he only had six AC2s compared to my uh, quad AC2 double AC10 build. So I got, just got more firepower, more raw firepower and um, he didn't want to, to do the stare down contest so much um, and spread, uh, spread, spread the damage a little bit more than I did. So whew, that, that, that was interesting and uh, yeah, the King Crab more or less mirror match worked out in my favor. Nice one. Let's go over to the next game. All systems nominal, and we are going up against a Kodiak. Uh, it looks suspiciously like an Ultra AC-20, and I believe the energy weapons in his arms are probably large pulse lasers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip apart his right side torso that um, gets rid of uh, most of his firepower, and then we, we're gonna deal with him. Or um, we could also go just for center torso oh shooting. Gosh. Uh, we're gonna see. If our aim is a little bit off, I try to target a little bit more to his right shoulder uh, because that's my, my priority here. And we're gonna see where he is coming from. He doesn't seem to take the ramp. Okay. Maybe he's uh, trying to engage me directly. Where is the Kodiak? Hello. Mr. Bear, come out to play. Hello. Is there a Kodiak somewhere? Oh, there he is. Okay. He has taken low ground. He has taken low ground behind the pillar. The thing is, um, if he decides to camp there, I can do nothing, and it would be it would result in a draw, and I don't like that so much. Oh, he's actually trying to snipe me. All right, is that is that more damage than he deals to me, than I deal to him? Not entirely sure, but you know what? We got we're gonna close in. I just want to make it a little bit interesting for you guys. Oh, never mind. Is he just pushing? He is pushing. Yeah, he got impatient. So let's get back up high. Cannot see him. Hey, dude, I see you. I see your arm. Okay, and here we go. We just we just threw, shoot through his again right side. Triple him completely. Yeah, he can he cannot do anything. I kind of feel bad for him. I'm sorry. I mean, this this matchup here. Uh, he came with a close range build, and I I just have that much advantage here. I'm so sorry. Sorry, man. GG. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, mm, kind of a massacre, but hey, this is how it goes down sometimes. It is the arena. It all comes down to pilot against pilot and build against build. And uh, I think I had the better one for this matchup here. Anyway, let's go over to the next round and see how this will go down. Here we go! We are going up against a Bushwhacker! Now, Bushwhackers are actually pretty tanky and they have a very great uh, very great profile um, to, to shield the damaged. And um, therefore, I think I'm gonna go for the legs as much as I hate it. The leg meta is pretty much annoying, at least to me. Um, and uh, prepare to be surprised. I am uh, looking forward to that, man. Bring it on, dude. Bring it on. Okay, um, but yeah, again, uh, leg, leg meta is real, and as, as such, we're, gonna, we're just gonna go for the legs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, if we can actually hit that. Okay, that's it. Wow, I got headshot. I got headshot here. Nice one. Where is he? Okay. I mean, he, he's only spitting some peas at me while I have my AC-10s ready. I don't think that he can take that trade forever, and I think he just realized. So I just have more firepower. Uh, this trade is not in his favor. And there he comes. All right. The Bushwhacker closing in. Okay, that was bad. We're gonna take high ground here to play the tower defense. Let's see. I think I got his leg. Yeah. Sorry, man, but Bushwhackers need to be legged. Ultra AC-10! Ah, this is what you're running. Okay, I'm actually very surprised that the Bushwhacker can reliably take Ultra 10s, but in Solaris, where ammo is not a big issue, uh, where you only need enough ammo to kill one enemy, then Ultra AC-10s are probably pretty viable. The thing is, he is uh, he's trying to shield his legs, which, is, um, which makes me push him. 
Uh, that's it. What I'm doing now is I rely on my left side, which is relatively okay in terms of armor. I want to shield with this side, and I want to rely on, on his autocannons jamming there. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I think this is still a pretty nice matchup there. I mean, again, I got his, I got his legs, or at least one of it. And he's doing the peeking stuff now. Also, I should probably target him. Center torso critical. Nice one. Wow. Come out to play, dude. I am baffled by that. Holy crap. This bushwhack guy is gonna is gonna ruin my day here. I thought I had it! Nice one, dude. Very well played. Very well played, man. Cool. Um, I mean, uh, it's bad that I died, but uh, it's super interesting. Super interesting to watch. He managed to shield his other leg, so I couldn't get uh, the jump on him there. Maybe I should have stayed on the high ground. Um, I was too confident that I could just kill him. But actually, uh, still still being lagged, um, I believe he had more mobility. And he could just walk around this block anyway. Cool round. Um, that was a loss, surprisingly. Um, but hey, let's go over to the next round and see how this will go down. Here we go, we are going up against another King Crab. This looks like a medium range missile launcher. Um, it's a lot of spread damage. I believe I'm gonna, again, go for directly the center mass because he wants to fight me at mid range probably. And uh, we're, just got, we're just gonna go in and, and try to hit him a bunch of times before he can actually do that. Oh, LRMs, oh that's interesting. Um, oh. This is interesting. He is using LRMs and uh, makes me wanna be close. And uh, then there is a double AC-20 on the on the King Crab uh, trying to uh, to shred me to pieces. And you know what? I do not want to play his mind games. I want to stay at range and just suck uh, the LRMs. And um, we're gonna we're gonna be fine because and only one LRM launcher is not strong enough to to bring the King Crab down here. Um, only over a lot of time. So we're gonna we're gonna straight for his center there, making sure that we. Uh, that we aim carefully when the AC-10 is off cooldown. Shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Thank you. Okay. Yep. He's trying to face suck here. And that's it. It's an interesting approach here. Again, doing the mind games with the with the Lerm or getting some early damage out with the Lerm and then just running in with the with the double AC-20s. Uh, but again, I wasn't up for it. Uh, I would have stayed at range if he didn't push me. Um, but, you know, it's uh, it's kind of working. And that's it for today, guys. That was the King Crab with uh, two AC-10s and four AC-2s. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You're gonna get more Solaris content and, of course, Battletech and MacWarrior online. If you want to support me go down below to the description there is the link to my patreon page and i hope to see you on the battlefield everybody goodbye